and welcome to Summer Spartan Good Time. Today's video is just going to be um, basically how do I get up and a getting up small update on my life. And I'm going to be using um, the Canvas Night's Rest from the Times of the Day, um, 1899 by Alphonse Muga from Diamond Painting and Shop to uh, be my example. Um, it has 60 colors. It's a 19.7 by 55.1 inch or a 50 by 140 centimeter kit. It does have 60 colors. They are individually bagged. I will be going over why I'm not going to be uh, uh, painting from the bags. Um, but I was going to give you a quick look-see at the canvas again. So coming all the way down to the end, it has the beautiful neutral frame in that Art Deco style. Oh, and this one has one, two, three, four, five babies. So as we're moving up, I have to move the whole thing because she's a big girl. She's a very big girl. Going up through her body. I'm absolutely in love with this section. It makes me super happy. Really kind of like that foot that was hanging down too. All the way to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to pause you to get to my next stage. Hold on. Okay, for my, I don't even know what we call these. These tray type systems that has, what are these called? I don't know, it's a bead storage and it was discontinued so now you have to buy the generic. Okay. So, I have currently right here, uh, I have four of these empty trays, right? Um, I store my trays empty. Um, one of the reasons I like these is because of the lots on each side with the lid. It keeps everything very well contained. And then you have um, six uh, spots that you can line up. Um, and they come in this extra large or large medium small mini i guess so as you can see there are four different sizes now i store mine with the large and the small together in this tub the um, medium and the mini in this tub and then this tub sits in that tub and the trays go on top and that's just the way i have found it makes my life easiest when i'm getting up so there's those i'm about to lose my trays one second now don't let my trays fall now these trays cost about 30 dollars a piece i think on amazon and i bought um some uh, bulk kits, I bought just the, oh lord, I'm hitting things. I have bought like just uh, packs of each different size together. I'm, I've done it all. I've done it all. So, here is the sticker sheet provided by Diamond Painting Shop of the kit. Um, here are our drills. Now, typically, if it was a smaller kit and it was a uh, Kitted in the, I was if it, if the drills came in these loose um, resealable baggies, I would typically use this little acrylic box. I got this from my grandmother back in the day. I mean, it is old. She could be busted over here. I think I have a chip missing. Yeah, right here is a chip missing. Uh, but on my smaller kits that are In these resealable baggies like this this is cute uh, and a stacking like this in order but we have too much for that it's not gonna fit nice and neat in there in order um so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this aside we're gonna play with you today uh, i have all of these little Things, Dollar Tree. I think I got these two for a dollar Dollar Tree. That's what I used to organize my drills. Um, before 
I um, kid up. Because I, I don't like to play that game. So, you scooch over there for now. It's like this is a on diamond painting shop. The number on the front is the number of the order of the kit. The second number here is the color. And this is the amount. So, I know this is in the two. So, just one hit the floor. Stop everything. Go get it. Okay, so two, 17, one, 44, 40s, two, 27s, 30s, five, eight, 27, 26, two, four, 36, 39, 42, 30s, 20s, 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 6, 4, the mouse at the ground, 4, 50s over here, 20s, 11, 20s, 30s, 7, 59, 58, 10, 50, 30, 20, 18, it's going to be an AB, so it's going to be over here, 60, 37, 19, 48, 9, AB, 50s, 30s, 50s, 40s, 50s, 40s, 50s, 50s, 30s, 50s, 40s, 40s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 40s. Three, forties, twenties, teens, four, thirty, teens, 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 twenties, teens, twenties. So then I would take this little happy guy, take my first section, which are the one through tens. Where is my one? One. Where's my twos? So I got one. Then the three bags of the twos behind it. Where's three? Three. One, two, three, four bags of the fourth color. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, put that over there. This is my teen section. So I have. Where do? Where did eleven go? Ah, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two bags of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Pull down my 20s. I have 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25. Two bags of 26, two bags of 27, 28, a 29. The way I want to do this is I want to pull number 30. Okay. So then next tray, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 
36, 37, 38, 39. Forty. Forty one. Forty two. Forty three. Two back to forty four. Forty five. Forty six. Forty seven. Forty eight. Forty eight. Forty nine. Forty ten. Forty eleven. Forty twelve. Trying to jump out of it. Okay, fifty. Fifty. 51, 62, 53, 54, 55. A lot of times, if you hold too many of these in your hands, you just slide right on out. Okay. Oh, 54. Two bags of 54. 55. It's in there, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So these are our ABs here. See, like I just said, they just slid out of my hands. Okay, so now I have them in order 1 through 30, 31 through 60 here. I'm going to take a break and sit down, and I'm hot. Hold on. Okay. So when I'm getting up, I always want to make sure I have dryer sheets with me. Now, I don't normally have this problem with Diamond Painting Shop, but I do see some that might make it a problem. Um, see how they're sticking to the side? That's telling me I might have static. And my favorite way to deal with static is just to take some dryer sheets. I can make them line up. It might not happen today. Here we go. And then... is not agreeing with me. I'm gonna open it all the way up. I'm gonna fold it. Fold it again. I fold it again. So I have this back piece. Then I'm going to cut them. I'm gonna cut this direction in there. I know that they're folds. Do I have any folds going this way? I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little things. And then I'm just going to go. Now, some people go smaller. I don't like to go smaller. I feel like. If I need to use it to like sweep in there, then I lose my punch of my dryer sheet. These are about the right size. It fits in my things. If I do need to go smaller, I can to fit in my containers. But considering I'm using the Elizabeth Ward, that's the name of this storage. The Elizabeth Ward storage. I am not as worried about it. Okay. Now I have all those. Cuts you up. I put them right up here, out of my way. I have my little sticker sheet from Diamond Painting Shop. Shop with two P's and an E. Uh, okay, and these are individually cut stickers. Makes my life super easy. I also like to have a tray. This one is Bella Art Day Nicole. Uh, one of the reasons I like this one is I like the way the lid goes. I put the lid on it. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, break things loose and they can pour out that's just my preference there then you saw him my two baskets of the things so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at the one and this is a little one so I know I just probably need a mini for this one I have learned I need to put the sticker on first <sighs> I don't really care about going over other stickers it does not bother me Trying to get them all off nice, nice, neat, and tidy does not always work. So, see, I'm having static on this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a dryer sheet. I'm going to swish, 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 swish around in here, especially around the edges, like that. Okay. 
All right, so now, now that I've gone over basically what I'm doing, what's going on, why I chose this, da 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 da, da. Um, I'm going to be using the bottle storage um, to get up the choose a fate, not choose a path. I keep saying choose a path, and I think that one's the Pocahontas one, but it's choose a fate for Merida for the um, uh, Mari945 kit from Judy Jim Show. Oops, I hit the camera. I'm sorry, y'all. We got my tray open. Sitting here on chair beside me. So that one's done. Okay, so moving on. Uh, so, where the hell have I been? <laughs> uh, that has been a question. Um, in August of last year, my life kind of imploded. Um, everything just went crazy. Um... Uh, I, I had way too much going on. Way, way too much. I had too many clients. Um, Trinity had too many appointments. Um, we had added cardiologists, pulmonologists, all this other stuff to our life. And to say I was overwhelmed is the understatement. I was beyond overwhelmed. And... And then I found out they were selling the ranch I lived on. <laughs> so I was going to have to move. And Trinity had a port placed. Got a staff infection in the port. Had to have the port removed. We had another hospital stay for that. They still have not figured out her tachycardia. Um, so now she's on medication to slow her heart <laughs> because it, without it um oh see this is why i put a tray down guys um without it um it's not good her resting heart rate was in the 120s to 140s um without the medication and no one can tell us why um they're now getting ready to do a full CT of her chest to find out because according to the test we've already done uh, there, there there's no reason that it should be doing this so we don't know what's happening um let's see what else um yeah so um we were moving, um, everything was set up to go, and literally, the week we were supposed to move, uh, the new house fell through. At the same time, <laughs> I was supposed to be moving, is when Trinity got the blood infection in the port. And was in the hospital for two weeks. So at that point, panic hit. <laughs> so we ended up moving basically everything I owned into three storage units. Um, because they didn't have a big one. So I had to do, go into three smaller ones. <laughs> and me and Trinity uh, came and are staying with my mom. And... Um, The housing market and rental market in California are insane. <laughs> it's insane. Like, I do not know how to explain to you how how crazy it is right now. Um, it's better than it was. Like you're no longer having to like pay more than the house appraises for because that was happening before like to get a house before you were having it to like basically sell your soul um, <laughs> uh, we got past that but um not much past that. <laughs> it is not pretty so um it's actually working out fairly well um my mom has a extremely large home um these are five bedrooms five bedrooms one 
two, three, three and a half bath. So we all have our own space. It's like we're not on top of each other or anything like that. And um, it makes my life a little bit easier with the Trinity aspect because I have someone else that is able to help me. It's like today, Nurse Benny's coming to do Trinity's infusion. Um, and I'm able to help my mom. Like I just installed a new dishwasher for her yesterday, the day before. I'm able to help her do like yard work, stuff like that. And um, she's in her 70s. And so, it's actually working out really well for everybody involved. It's not really what I wanted at the time. I no longer have a classroom. I have everything that I owned <laughs> is in storage, <laughs> except for what's in my room here. Um, which going from a four bedroom two bath with just me and Trinity to <laughs> uh, a room has been definitively different. Um, me and Trinity also both got COVID finally for the first time. Uh, this year, and then we got that for my birthday in April on, actually. Um, I was sick, like deliriously sick, like thought we were going to have to take me to the hospital sick uh, for three weeks. And still am not 100%. Um, I don't think that'll fit in a minute. I don't know if it'll fit in a minute. It'll fit in a minute. Um, like, I was, I was sick. Trinity, as soon as we found out she caught it, even though we I sent her away and everything, trying to get her to avoid getting it, um, we got her started on the the antivirals. I don't know how to pronounce it, but have a loxid or something. As soon as she gave a light positive, and she was sick for four days. <laughs> that was it. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" over here having near-death experiences and she's got a light cold for four days and I'm like I know people have said you know but we had not had it you know we had um just stayed out in the country and avoided it like the plague it basically looks like but now we both had it I've also had a ongoing problem of interior and posterior uveitis um, if you don't know what that is, it's the inflammation of my eye that has severely affected my vision. I call it the dragon in my eye. It's really bad in my right eye. Um, and I couldn't see too, too much of anything for a while. And um, at first I'd gone to multiple doctors and they said, Oh, it's allergies or dry eye or whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, no. Um, so it w went untreated or treated incorrectly for months and months. That was fun. Um, but it's since been figured out many, many dollars is, is, is later. Um, and... Oh, man, the meds are expensive for it. Um, lots and lots of drops, six times a day. So basically, couldn't see the diamond paint, couldn't see to hardly work, could barely see to drive for a little bit of it. Um, my vision has came back. The dragon is still in my right eye. And when I say dragon, it means there's this big black shape that flies like a dragon, is what it feels like. It's like flying around in there. Um... But um, I'm no longer crying when uh, when light hits my eye. <laughs> so when there, um, I think what else happened? My aunt, who had gotten 
uh, breast cancer has beat it. She had uh, the lump removed and they just did, I think, 26 rounds of radiation just to be sure. Ashley, I am making the biggest mess I have made yet. Um, Ashley, on the other hand, that's my best friend. Um, her breast cancer has been a little bit more cantankerous. Um, she went through the chemo, and now she's almost done with radiation. And I think the last, she was over halfway done last time I talked to her, I think a couple days ago. Um, I don't remember the schedule off the top of my head because, um, life. Um, having some static going on here I'm trying to deal with. Um, that's been extremely stressful. <sighs> My grandbaby, though, the newest one, Miss uh, Madison, she turned six months, y'all. I had a grandbaby in November. Cutest baby ever lived. I'm telling you, I got one of them pretty, pretty babies. I was like, oh, <laughs> You could be the prettiest baby we've got. Uh, no offense to the other grandbabies, but this one, Purdy. Uh, I'll put a picture up right in here. This Miss Madison. Madison Bay. That's uh, Jonathan's baby. Uh, I don't know. That one has baby fever already. And I said, do you not remember how sick you were? And you were mean. She was one of the meanest pregnant women. <laughs> I was like, you you were not pleasant, honey. <laughs> Can we discuss this real quick? <laughs> you was not nice. <laughs> uh, I did not end up moving to Tennessee. They're still in Oregon. Uh, the company that they were, the Tanner was supposed to go work for, and guess something happened there, and their finances are different than expected. So thank God they figured it out before my babies moved all the way over there. Um, so there's that. Trinity, besides all the dang doctor stuff, is doing well. Um, only one major hospitalization since I last talked to y'all. Um... Oh, there's so much static. Oh, no, stop. Stop with the static. Just stop. What is that? Oh, it's a sticker. I'm like, what the heck is that? Oh, static. So, like, my life imploded. And the whole not being able to see thing, that, that, that was bad. That was real bad. And, um. Like the eye doctor who found it, and he's like, "How how how did multiple doctors miss this?" And I'm like, "I I don't know." I said they kept telling me I had dry eye and something that like was common in like farmers and field workers with the air quality and working in the you know the dirt. And he's like, "I know." So I spent dollars and dollars and dollars on treatment that. For something I didn't even have, we're talking over six months. <laughs> and I was like, um, this stuff isn't working. Um, your treatment plan, my eyesight has drastically changed. Um, so I had to buy new glass. <laughs> Aw, I turned 45 and now I have bifocals. Ain't that lovely? Because it... That UVIS, it, it wrecked havoc. I tell you right now, you start having sudden black things. I guess some people call floaters, and they have like little floaters just going on in there. If you have that happen suddenly, black things just flying around in your eye, go 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 to your optometrist, ophthalmologist, choose one, um, and just get checked. Because I have damaged my eyesight irrevoc irrevocably. <laughs> I'm like, cannot get this, 
this is what we got. This is where we're at, and this this is my life now. So, um, not not a good time. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. This is five, four, five. Okay. So that's where I've been. Um, trendy. Um, uh, started a new hobby. Uh, Legos. We did, I don't even, I can't tell you how many Legos did. we did the, during the blood infection uh, hospital stay. That, that was fun. Because um, if you're not um, aware, um, infections increase your heart rate. Um, and Trinity has battling tachycardia, which is increased heart rate. <laughs> so, <laughs> Every time she would get up, um, alarms would go off. Just because she stood up, the heart alarms would go off. It was in dangerous levels. Uh, she was um, right outside the cardiac, or the cardiac, cardiac ICU, the cardio ICU, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, in the telemetry, telemetry unit, which is the heart unit with a blood infection because the heart was such a, it was bad, it was bad. She had uh, three IVs at one point uh, because the different medications couldn't touch each other. <laughs> and then when she got out of the hospital, and it was two week hospital thing, she had a pick line in her arm that mommy had to do the meds every eight hours around the clock for like another two and a half weeks. And we had to drive Oh, God, 50, 60 miles away to um, the only like, home health place that would help us, because everybody else was full, to have her dressing changed and all my work checked. And <laughs> it, it, it was like over a month of crazy. And I was struggling to see the game during all that. So, fun times. Uh, Trinity had a, uh, met her, well, virtually met her uh, biological father during all this too. I'm like, that's a man I didn't think I was ever going to talk to again. Uh, so, so, they are uh, having a relationship for the first time. She calls him, well, she was calling him Vader at first because she's like, um, it feels weird to call him Jeff, but he's not my dad. <laughs> like, I got it. Call whatever you want. I don't care. So then, um, I was talking to him. That's weird. It's just really weird. And, um, he, uh, is currently in the hospital. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me, people? <laughs> Um, he's, I guess, having diabetes complications, and, um, so they've started him on dialysis while he's in there. Lovely time. So, she called him her dad for the first time the other day. Kind of cute. Uh, the man who raised her. He, he's just he's a piece of work. He's the father of my other girls. Piece of work. <sighs> so, and there's that. This is a big kit, and I was not expecting this much static. I think I'm just going to go to number 10. So do two more. And then switch over to uh, time lapse for the rest of it. And then I'll come back and talk to you at the end, probably. Because I can't talk to all this. This is too much. This is too much. Too much. Too much.
Oh God, finally, no static. Praise the Lord. No, I do not recall ever having static with a uh, diamond painting shop. Or if I did, maybe minor. But um, remember, my kits have all been in a storage facility. They have not been, I just, I finally went and got my diamond painting stuff out of storage. Um, gosh. A week and a half ago, two weeks ago. When I knew I could finally see, mostly. Um, I have to have a lot more light than I used to have to see. Um, the vision has been the biggest problem for me for diamond painting. Um, get, I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do. And uh, and uh, it sucks. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this one and switch over to the time lapse. And I'll talk to you at the end. <laughs> 